It's a real homecoming for this Jay, Toronto area native Jordan Romano. My whole family, uh, my aunts and my, my grandma's going to make it out today. For 670 days, the team hasn't played on Canadian soil due to COVID restrictions. It's been so long, half the players are new. This is my first time here, actually. Stadiums in Dunedin, Florida and Buffalo, New York couldn't replace the true home field advantage. I think the toughest part was we just never really had a home crowd. We were getting booed and stuff at our own place sometimes. The Edwards family from Toronto are big fans and came out to cheer safely. We've all done our double backs and yeah, just uh, excited to be here. Major League Baseball events have been the source of COVID outbreaks, including the All-Star Game in Denver earlier this month. Nearly 50,000 were in attendance. The Rogers Centre and the Jays organization are limiting the number of fans to 15,000 in a stadium that can hold three times that. Of course, we would love to have this building, you know, filled to the brim, but we completely understand that we are still working through a pandemic. The roof is open here today at Rogers Centre and the Jays organization says they'll try and keep it that way as often as possible. And for that reason, the province has deemed this entire building, including the concourse and concession stands, as an outdoor venue. But this epidemiologist says a crowd that size worries him. There's plenty of room in the stands to spread people out. I think the, the concern for me is the snaking lines to get to your seats, the lineups of the concession stands and the washrooms. Anyone who's been to the stadium when it's in full swing knows it's pandemonium and that's not safe. And his concerns are even if the Jays 10 home games don't become super spreader events, they could still set a dangerous precedent. Philip Lee Shannock, CBC News, Toronto.